and welcome to the second part of our uh, first light for Great British Landscapes. Um, this is continuing with the theme of summer photography near your uh, near home. Near home, yes. And that's uh, that's an important thing for me. I, I think that that uh, because I like to, well, I love to take pictures, so I like to be able to photograph near to home and uh, and enjoy that process, uh, even including my back garden, by the way. Yes. Um, but uh, I also love being out in the open landscape and. I'm lucky because I live in an area where there's lots and lots uh, not too far away that, that's inspiring uh, for a walk and for photography. And this is Sutton Bank. And Sutton Bank is uh, a very well-known beauty spot and it, it is supposed that uh, James Herriot um, of, uh, of the vet fame yeah. uh, described it as the finest view in England. Right. And uh, I mean, while one shouldn't forget that uh, he's a Yorkshireman, bias slightly. Um, it is a great, it is view, a cracking, a view, fantastic yes. view. A real, a real balcony looking out over the Vale of York, uh, and you can see for miles and miles and miles in at least three different directions: south, uh, west, and north. And uh, it's a, it's a tremendous feeling of being surrounded by air and light. Uh, and lots and lots of interesting detail within that as well. And famously the end of a small runway, isn't it, as well? Yes, uh, it is, and that's a glider. Yes. A, a, a glider pause, I suppose you'd call it, um, just next to Rulston Scar. I found, I found myself standing, or actually sitting just about where the focal point of that photograph is, um, looking around at photographs and having the fright of my life as a glider passed about ten foot above my head. It can be quite unnerving and alarming. Yeah. Uh, it certainly can. So this picture we've included because with each of our first lights we, we try and uh, put in something that uh, is, is quite flawed, difficult uh, and imperfect and not that anything's perfect but um, at least it gives us a little bit more to chew on and I suppose this is a good example of that. Uh, and I, I would say right from the off that um, I've, I've stood and looked at this topic uh, for want of a better word, on numerous occasions and always been impressed by this great overhang of rock mm -hmm. at Sutton Bank. Uh, I mean, it is impressive. Uh, and you can see, looking closer up, it's, it's quite significant. You definitely would not want to stand on the edge of this. Mm, no. um, who knows when it's going to topple over. Uh, at certain times of year, and this is one of them, it acquires a rather lovely glow in the evening light uh, as the sun hits a face that's just out of sight here. And, and bounces light back uh, into the shadow side of the cliff. Which way are we looking now? Is it approximately south southwest? Is it that sort of? It's uh, definitely southwest yeah. uh, here. Um, I would say. Uh, in fact, it might even be uh, west southwest. Okay. Um, because it is still summer, so it'd still be. Um, well, having said that, you can see the colours starting to change. So um, while it gives a very summery feel. Uh, I'm thinking as I'm looking at it that I probably, I don't of course have any metadata for this because it was shot on 5x4 yeah. so it's not a digital uh, original uh, and therefore we can't find out but I, I would guess now looking at it would have been actually late September or even uh, October. Right. And therefore uh, the sight line uh, is almost certainly quite close to south so you're probably right Tim in the first instance. This is Rulston uh, um, Hood Hill rather just to the uh, uh, west of, of Ralston Scar, which is, as it were, the sister of Sutton Bank, a little bit further to the south, uh, another exposed white uh, cliff. Uh, and so what are my issues with it? Well, there are several. I mean, why did I take it in the first place? I mean, if, I, if I've got these problems uh, with it, partly because uh, I still make mistakes, partly because I still take and like to take risks, um, and partly because the sky was fabulous and because the reflected light is beautiful and so I wanted to try it at least. Uh, and looking at it I can see the logic of the composition in all sorts of ways and the logic is that uh, there's, a, there's a, a, a sort of diagonal line here and there's a diagonal line here and there's a kind of holding shadow here and it's fairly dark in here and here's our subject matter which is you know fairly luminous and, and interesting, our main focal point if you will. Uh, with more interest beyond it, uh, and on the face of it, there's there's quite a lot of content um, that's reasonably coherent. And indeed, it hasn't been an unsuccessful photograph for me. I've sold a number of prints of it, yes. so clearly for local people, it, it rings a bell and it has resonance. Um, 
It also has, by the way, a tiny little fragment of, of Gormire Lake uh, on the right-hand side here, which is a detail I probably would prefer not to have had, thinking about it now, uh, because it's a bit of a distraction. Um, so uh, that is not ideal. Um, my biggest issue with it, I think, compositionally, is that somehow this area here, right in the center of the image, feels unresolved. Is there anything I could have done about that? And is it unresolved? Well, I think the trouble is that this tree particularly uh, doesn't somehow um, work well in relation uh, to this slope here. So you're concerned with the separation thing, is it, is it mostly? Yeah, or, yeah, I think so. I think that's, that's the main issue. Uh, in other respects, it separates out OK. You can see that the trees are darker around here. Uh, yes, I could have done something about that. But I do try and be true to the original uh, where possible, and excessive localised corrections are, are not something that I particularly would wish to do unless it, there was no other alternative. Besides which, so I'm not sure that the uh, tinkering around with it in Photoshop would necessarily have, um, uh, have sorted that out completely anyway. Uh, there's a very, very dark shadow in here as well that I, I'm not sure I'm completely happy with. Um, and, and some of the, the dark shadows are, are quite contrasty. I find this shadow here even, although I quite like that little kind of hooping rhythm that runs back through the edge of the grasses there, um, that, that seems a bit of a distraction to me. Um, even the main theme itself, which is mostly uh, in softer light, uh, the, the tones of the white lichens seem quite brittle, and I'm not sure that that that's well in fact I'm pretty sure that's not exactly how I would like it to be. And when you say brittle in, as, a, as an adjective do you, do you mean it's the, the heavy fine grained contrast? Is that, is that the sort Yeah of contrast thing? I think it, it is uh, it, it is contrasty um, yeah. is a, another, another word one could use and um, sometimes that's perfectly acceptable I think it just depends on on the image uh, and on the context if we fill the frame with it here it almost makes quite an interesting, albeit rather scrambled, detail in its own right. Um, I think softer light might have, have served it a little bit better. Perhaps the golden highlights are a bit too strong there. Um, and I don't know. I, I can't really put my finger on it, um, if, I, if I'm if i honest. Um, but to me, it doesn't have a, a very... Uh, it doesn't feel quite right somehow. Uh, in theory... I've got lots of things right about it. I think that it, the, the, the feature of, of rock itself does appear to be looking to the right, and I've allowed space for, for that. Um, the diagonal lines of the, of the clouds and the foreground seem to sort of curve around reasonably nicely. Um, perhaps the, the sky is a bit too saturated, but there's something about it that's unsettling um, that doesn't feel complete to me. If you were to take a looking at it again now and saying, well, could I crop that differently? Would you, how would you look at it? Would you think, is there a, a way of cropping that? To, to, I mean, my, my initial feeling was that perhaps the, the separation between the sky and the subject matter is... It's not that great, is it? No. It, it, it isn't that well handled, no. It might just be worth it, a quick look. Let's, let's just try, try that and see if that improves things. Um, my initial reaction is it probably wouldn't but um, actually that let's just go with that a second develop that theme a bit and um, let's just try one more quick move here on the sky and see if by darkening it or changing it in some way it could work more positively uh, I'm going to go for uh, curves initially and darken and increase contrast. So I'm going to draw that across. It will, of course, acquire a colour shift in the process. Darken the highlights down a little bit. Yeah. Like that. And then go in blending mode to luminosity, which hopefully would avoid the colour cast that we we're getting. Neutralish. Yep. And let's get back. Do you have a view? Mm -hmm. Still not quite there. Not totally convinced. No. How about no sky? No sky at yeah, all. Yeah, going to be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it to people in the critics. We'll have a go. We have. That's only fair. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I, 
So we're really, you're asking me to... Well, a, a tiny little bit. So you tiny just little bit, OK. Yeah, so we go to a square almost. Yeah. Um, in fact, it, it'll be... So it's a four or five landscape almost. Isn't almost, it, right? yeah. Possibly. Yes, the, it's... The colours separate a little bit more, I think, once you've got... It allows us to concentrate then more on the landscape. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, there, there is, I can see there is merit in that uh, as, as an idea. Uh, if that were the case, I, I'd probably be tempted to um, go to... I'm just going to find history a second. Um, we go back a little bit. I want to change... Hmm. Part of me is drawn to make a square out of it. Yes. Um, yeah. and, uh, Perhaps we could crop the lake off a little bit as well. Yeah, then. yes, that's true. Uh, but I'd also think that I might crop a little bit more of the foreground out. But then I think we're just tinkering, actually. Mm. And uh, this is one of the things I think that we generally find uh, when we're struggling to make a picture work. It doesn't really matter what you do to it. Uh, if, if there's something fundamentally wrong, I will crop the lake off. Um, it probably won't really ever quite come together.